You're kidding me. Oh, that is so gnarly. Well, I think we've been waiting for this day for quite a while. Fire ants are coming. Well, they're here in Empires of the Undergrowth. We have the fire ant demo. Guys, these things are crazy. They can build bridges with their bodies. And I can't wait to show you off the new nemesis that we're gonna have in this game. Yeah, there's a new bug and it's big, it's mean, it's nasty. All right, so first things first, we're gonna need a little bit of food here. There's a decent amount of food, but there's a lot of enemies down here underground in the subterranean realms. Quite a bit of food, but lots of enemies. And then wait till you see the overworld, man. This is gonna be exciting. I'm so excited. Now, first things first, we are going to want to start working on our workers. So look at this. Right now, we've got two types of fire ants. We got the fire ant worker and you guessed it, the fire ant. AKA the soldier. Get a few of those. It says we only need three workers, but so I, I'm not good at listening to directions, so I built four. Stupid. And then from there, we've got all this terrain to build into. So I want to build like a long tunnel. And then like we're going to start the soldier pod over here. Now we've got, oh, we can only buy like, well, I guess our food stores are full. So we should be able to get, once we collect this food, ooh, maybe just three soldiers. We'll put these guys in a new attack group or a new control group. Cause I guess they won't always be attacking, right? Ooh, we actually get four, but we might encounter some enemies up there. Yeah. Screw it, let's do it. And now it's time to dig to the overworld where we're gonna see the new bug. And we're gonna see a very interesting situation geographically, geologically. Not geometrically, I know that much. So here it is, look, we're on this island. We're gonna have to dig and build a bridge over here at some point, but look at these food islands. However, we do have some enemies patrolling. Where is it? Where is this big nasty? There's one of these, the Starship Trooper bug. We got these little guys, but there what he is. Look at that. It's like a fire beetle or something. So we got one of those and I would imagine he's gonna attack at some point. We gotta get over here though. But in order to do that, we either need to build a bridge or wait for the water to go down, which is one of the cool things. So look, water drains in about 20 seconds. Let's actually go out here, grab this food. We need to build up a reserve because as we start fighting, well, ants are gonna die. And I just think fire ants look so freaking cool. Like they're definitely some of my favorite ants. And I'm really excited to see them in Empires of the Undergrowth. I don't know how they're gonna play exactly, but I think they're gonna be one of the best. I, I think they kind of saved one of the best for last because one has to ask is the question what would you guys say that you most best do the least and this is a serious question it's funny i love asking for asking this i actually asked jeff goldblum this in an interview for uh jurassic world and yeah as you guys saw on the channel recently jurassic world 2 evolution is on the horizon all right we might have some enemies coming here, but they're definitely patrolling. So the water just drained and it opened up these areas. This guy is out. So we got to be mindful of that. He's just out here walking around all hippity bippity dangerous like now. Just look at it. One of our objective is, well, to build a floating bridge. Now this guy is on the march. Wait a minute. Is he? He might attack us. Gentlemen, hold the hot gates. We must protect the queen. I, I mean, he's on the warpath. Now he's a little bit slow. Does he attack at night? Where did everybody else go? Oh, they disappeared for the night. Except for this guy, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go down underground. Oh, so he shoots like an acidic spray. Did you see that? Let's see if he does it again. No, he's dead and he gave us how much food? I think that's only 15. That's a bummer. We want way more food than that. Oh, look who's coming out for breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, you look tasty. Wait, are you gonna attack us at night? We're getting attacked again. No, no. False alarm. Let's kill it. Hello, friend. You're dead. Now I'm thinking we wanna get up here and unlock this whole area. Yep, it's time to start digging. We must lend aid to our neighbors. Man, that's Warcraft 3. Little bark. We don't want to dig too deep, as the dwarves in Moria did. <laughs> and you, I mean, you know, they, they called it a mine. Oh, there's a flood in 25 seconds, so we won't get access to the food islands. We might not be able to get over here, actually. But then again, we might. But I wonder if you could send some ants over there? Oh, and then we could just kill the food and get it? Oh, <gasps> That's what we gotta do. That is definitely what we gotta do. All right, so a warrior costs 40. Yeah, look at that. Now look at the minimap. All this, a little archipelago here for the ants. 
and stuff is creeping out. Ooh, it's food. Delicious food. You know what? We are going to build up. Oh, that that's just a decent amount of food to where we got to go get it. We got to go get it. And then we got bad guys. We hate bad guys. So we'll eat all these guys. Then we'll fight these guys. How do we fare one-on-one? -on -one? Actually, a fire ant warrior does fairly well one-on-one -on -one against these things. But it's getting absolutely crazy out there. So... We'll get two more warriors on the way, and we will start digging out the an expansion. Oh, look at us bringing all this food. And uh, you know what? We're doing so well. We'll just expand the food storage as well. Now, I want to leave a little path for a speed-up boost area, meaning it's it's sort of like a pathway in a city-building game, like, um, kingdoms and castles. What's going on? What's going on? Are we, are we doing okay? Are we doing okay? Yes. All right. We've got plenty of food, which is our currency of choice. We don't use no Ethereum here. Although I found a really, really cool game that uses Ethereum. More, more, more. We need more workers, more soldiers. Eventually, I'm gonna get in there. All right, I see someone creeping around over here. It's just a little grub worm, just a little bit. It's like, it's like you're an ant and you go out in the morning, and you're like, mmm, jelly donut. Because they're big and gooey. Now, I think in certain cases we'll have to build two land bridges to get access to some of these islands. Actually, all of them will require at least two. And look who it is. So when the water drops, you know he's gonna be like, oh, you know what I like to eat? Fire ants. I'm gonna go kill him. So we're gonna get over here and get ready to invade. I wanna do a pincer maneuver with my ants who are armed with ahem, pincers. I love it. Cause I, I feel like when you have quantity, you wanna be able to get a surround. Come on guys, and go. Open up these doors. Oh, the workers didn't do it. So we didn't necessarily get a surround, but honestly it wasn't too bad. We got better. Water's gonna drain in 50 seconds. So I assume that means that's we are gonna get attacked, right? This is a fun level. This is a very, very fun level. I'm gonna open up a little more food storage. <laughs> I like massing resources. Yeah, see? There we go, that should be more than adequate for our needs. And continue building up the fire ant army. Ooh, lots of food over here. We're gonna go get it. The fire nation is obviously from Avatar. At least that's the first place I saw it. But you know, my, my cabbages, so there's that. Let's get in there and get that food. And expand the warrior nest. So we're gonna have a lot of food, enough to greatly increase the size of our army. I want that food back. Let's see whatever this is. Oh god, that's actually a lot. Oh, hold on. We got a bad guy in here. The little <laughs> fire beetle. Why is the Fire Nation fighting the Fire Nation? One thing I've been curious about is could you have a game where like multiple types of bugs could actually be on the same team? Sort of like an empire building bug battler. I think it would be very interesting. And I, I just feel like Empires of the Undergrowth has, is just such a gem of a game. It's one of my favorites. Because it's so unique as far as, like, strategy games go. Hello! We are creating the literal hot gates because when we bite you, it feels like fire. That's why they call us the fire ants. We are hungry. And then we'll dig over here, kill that stuff, and then we'll get all this food. But it makes you wonder. Whenever there's a bug deep in the caverns, like, what ah! is it? Got it? So now that we've done that, I think it's time to go to the undergrowth. AKA what I like to call overworld undergrowth. You know, there's a lot of terms for it. Kill it with fire. Dude, you can literally say kill it with fire. I mean, it's still not literal, but it, it is to me. Yeah, fire ants are nasty, man. These things just wreck. Blood in four seconds. Let's get back down to the mines. A mine. <laughs> I, I just can't not do it. I've tried very hard. Now we'll increase the number of workers. Get ready, boys. We don't know what's gonna be behind door number one. Oh, a super uh, Starship Troopers bug, AKA artillery, but it's not a problem. Lots of delicious food. So now the fire beetles over here, they attack. I mean, of course they're gonna attack, right? That's a decent amount of food. We're at zero right now. What will this yield us? I'm gonna go back up to the overworld and kill a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Ants don't get along with other bugs, man. Maybe that's why we don't have a game where like all the bugs are joining forces, right? Okay Everybody mass up and then we'll go after the big boy first man We just lost like six right there. My guys are just trickling up slowly and that's never good. These are like ants cows Mmm cheeseburgers. Well, we did say though that they were more like jelly donuts though So they're jelly. It's like you get a cheeseburger like just the burger with the cheese But you put it between two jelly donuts. That is what you do that's what you call science, and we love science. We, we also love just 
gluttonous food, okay? Now back down, we've got a little bit left. Maybe we could do the whole Praetorian Guard strategy. We've got a minute to kill this thing. And on top of that, we are out of food. So if we lose this battle, we will die. <laughs> I mean, it's just, there's no simpler way to put it. But I believe in the Fire Nation. Oh, okay. It's big boy. But quantity has equality all its own. Yes! Delicious treats. Sure it's taking a long time to get a worker over here to dig this tunnel. And here, look who's coming. That means we're gonna have to pull up. Defend thine queen. Oh, look, and there's food up there. We got food everywhere. Wait, there's two coming. No, there are two of them. Oh man, yeah, he just spit his stuff, dude. It's like a giant Dilophosaurus beetle. <laughs> that one's animation is cooler than some of the others, I think. Maybe it's just cause it's new, but all right, ready? Do that thing, do that thing. Oh, you, you, you couldn't even do it, dude. You dead, bro. He's dead, he's dead, Jim. What's this guy doing? What you doing? You jelly donut. You got a walking jelly donut, lad. Am I gonna eat ya? I wish I could have dug a tunnel through rock. I wonder if that will ever be a mechanic in the game or if it's just like, you just can't do it. But if there was an ant that was powerful enough, like a mole ant. <laughs> All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna meet here and we're gonna beat this guy and then boom, tons of food. All right, so now we're definitely up in the workers numbers. So we could have two groups is the goal. I think the sweet- I wonder what the sweet spot is for bridges. Like, how many we're gonna- we- are we gonna need? Like, 10, 20, 50, 100? Whatever. We're going in. Let's just not find a- the equivalent of a Balrog down here. This is not too difficult. Alright, and so what we will do is get the workers up here to just start killing stuff. And we'll have control group 1 down here to- to harvest. Cause they- now we have like 21 workers. Which tunnel is gonna be done soon? I'm thinking the left one. Oh yeah, you guys are doing great. All this food coming back allowed me to produce a ton of warriors. Empires are built on food, especially if you're ants. Oh my god, that's just so much. We're gonna have to start digging more. I like that problem. Hey man, you have too much of this awesome thing and you're gonna get more. Oh, okay, thanks friend. Uh, no, no problem. I'll, I'll manage it the best way I know how. Spending it all. They definitely look really cool. All right, so when the water drops, fire beetles come. Now, how does this work? How do you build a bridge? You know what? I think the only thing I know how to do is pheromone trail, right? Let's build a little one. Let's try it out. Let's lay siege to this island. Army group two, start building the siege bridge. Oh, you're kidding me. Some of them are- Oh, <laughs> that is amazing. I didn't know we only needed this many. Oh man, that is awesome. Oh, I love it. I want to get to Food Island, but I think we're going to need more. You guys did well. Let's uh, regroup here. Escape to the promised land. We must escape. This is, this is, yeah, you, you guys didn't know that Atlantis was about ants, did you? And this, I don't know, th this is where we've got to get to, I would imagine. How big is this bridge going to be? A hundred oh, ants? Wow. All right, let's get him. Let us kill him and eat his entrails. Which are high in nutrients. Dang, he just smoked like five ants. Savage. <laughs> okay, so now we are prepared. I think we've secured almost, no, we, we haven't. We have some things to do down here. We will just walk into it and fight it to the death. It's death, preferably, not ours. We don't, we, so, we don't really like to die, you know? We haven't tried it, but we don't really want to try it. We're just not too familiar with the respawn rate when one dies, you know? Oh, heck yeah. Just killing everything. Oh man, we got, we got food for days. More. What's that? Oh, they're all just going in. Yeah. All our little ant cows, the cows of the ant world, grubs. Timon and Pumbaa would love it, I think. All right, uh, now it's just this little area, I think. That might be, that's all that's left as a threat. I still want enemies to pop up on the minimap. I don't know why they don't. Food does, but not enemies. This looks like it's gonna be very easy. What is that? Enemies. Amemones? All right, we have secured our subterranean realm and we've got all of the food that there probably is down here so i think we should control everybody in a giant group i want to see if workers can't join in this too and we are going to destroy everything up here oh look at them they have a very interesting color when they're going over this purple stuff it's really cool when you think about all the different mechanics of ants that you have in this game you know so here we go. We're fighting everything we can. If I just send them, hey, get over here, they will have to build two bridges. One here, 
but I think it only took like five or six. Now, I'm not sure if workers can also participate in bridges or if it's only the big soldiers. No, that's a worker in it. Okay, so they both do it. Oh, that is so gnarly. I love it. All right, we do have enemies, but don't worry. Oh, building the second bridge. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. We are getting ambushed back here. We're gonna probably have to create another soldier group. Be the Praetorian guards. It's a little messy, but it'll work. It's good enough for government work. Yeah, we, we took, oh, kill this guy. Everybody get him. So they gotta get over and what happens to the people on the bridge? Do they start pulling back or does the, oh, okay, good. Food ants are, <laughs> food ants. The food stores are full. Good problems to have, guys, I'm telling you. We'll upgrade some of these food stores. All right, built the bridge, now go kill it. There's actually still food here we might be able to bridge to. Oh, all righty. Uh, go for it, go for it. There's a decent amount of food here. There's a lot of enemies, though. Look at the bridge, dude. So this bridge that's gonna have to span this area on the map, that giant stretch, is gonna be huge. Let's actually have them not grab food, just fight for now. I want them to kill everything so that we can, like, we'll harvest the resources. Look at this, look at this. Oh man, there's gold in them hills, boys. One guy over here, he cannot escape us. All right, now we turn everybody on gathering food. Yeah, so there's no ramp, so we can't gain access to this unless we can build a bridge. We can't build ladders, I don't think. It's so cool though, but like, it takes a certain amount of ants to just hold that. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. What happened? Actually, pull back, pull back, pull back. What happens when the water drops? Can the bridge hold? Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Oh, there is a ramp, okay, phew. So they, they are able to get up. They can't get up to the food that we've captured, but they can at least get up here and not die. Well, now what do we do? We have to wait till the water rises again and get over here. So we're gonna put like everything in one giant control group. We'll get rid of the pheromone trail for two since we're not using it. So when it says escape to the promised land, does that mean our queen will actually walk over there? Oh, hello, you're dead. Although the enemies, I have noticed that they're getting more difficult. Maybe that's why we want to immigrate out of here. But in a minute, we're gonna get over there. We're gonna make a, a run for it. Oh, they're bombardier beetles. All right, flood is starting. Let's get back over here and we'll keep control group two defending. I think we're gonna need a lot more. Dang, bridge number one. <laughs> it's so cool. And bridge number two. Yeah, so some of them float and the other ones just walk across them. Oh yeah. Bombardier beetles. I, I should have known that from pocket ants. I actually want to build a bridge over here now. Oh wow, we are in need of room to expand into. This is a massive building spree. Bombardiers! Dude, in in pocket ants, bombardiers are so nasty. Oh my gosh, there's so much food. We gotta get them before they start going in. I think they only go in at nighttime though, so I think it's like dusk right now. Siege bridge! I feel like Alexander the Great, but of ants, sieging tire. <laughs> Oh, it's just so much. We're gonna have to upgrade food stores maybe again. Oh man, 58 seconds. We could get over here though and kill these two bombardier beetles. And then we have a ramp here and there's definitely at least one ramp up. Oh, there's another one, okay, good. So in, in theory we could wait, but I don't want to. Bombardiers, you may fall when ready. Water drains in 25 seconds. You think we could get over there? Not in time. Yeah, that's kind of funny how water is more good than bad. You know, normally in these kind of strategy games, if water or lava rises, it'll kill any units that are down there. But in our case, I don't think that's really much of an issue. Bombardier set an ambush for us. All right, 55 seconds. Let's do a quick raid. This island needs to be sieged and taken. Okay, so there's a flood in 19 seconds. I think what we should do is we're gonna leave four warriors. Actually, you know what? I think we might just be able to get away with it with this. Everybody's got to get ready. Now, is there a ramp to get down there? No, because it'll flood, so we won't need one, right? So we're gonna get here. It's time. Everybody needs to get over here. This is gonna be such a long bridge. Now, we need at least 10 ants. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my goodness. It's happening. Wait, where's, where's everybody else? We need more. Okay, we have a huge amount. Okay, now there's a little bit of fighting going on. Unfortunately, but I'm, I'm risking it. We're a little over halfway. I think oh man <laughs> uh, How many more do we got to do this with we got plenty of food? Oh, no, we're kind of stuck here Some of them are like getting food no food guys. No food. Nobody's getting food anymore. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, it's not enough That's like everything. Oh, man 
All right, we're going to Food Island. And these guys will be sent out here to defend, and everybody can get food now. Oh, so close yet so far. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna need, what, 250 minimum soldier ants? So now we take apart that bridge to build two smaller bridges. Invasion! Oh man, it looks awesome. Invasion of the ants! Oh, we got 59 seconds. I wonder if we could get here and kill this uh, bombardier. Should have been able to get all of that food. And in 45 seconds, it's definitely possible. Oh, is he gonna cross our ramp? No, he can't. Oh, we don't really have numbers. They're just sort of trickling in. And he's bombardiering us. He's living up to his name. Look at our the mini-map of the uh, underground area. It's just covered in warrior eggs. <laughs> All right, we're almost at the 250. We we have enough like tiles for them. We just don't have all of the eggs growing yet. But I think we're as we're bringing in food, we're going to be able to start spawning them. And the floods in 48 seconds. This could be it. This should be it. I really hope this is it. And build the bridges. Imagine seeing this in like 10x speed. <laughs> okay, we have 250 warriors. I'm going to get this little bit of food here. And then with that, ooh, we gotta hope we have enough, right? Right? Dang, there's so many enemies right now. No wonder we're trying to get out of here. All right, let's go for it. Everybody mass appear. This, this has to be it. This has to be the bridge. Oh, here we are. A little over halfway, and I think, I think this is it. I think that we've got it. It's interesting, though. It didn't really tell me, hey, this is the promised land. Although there's this little, like, hole in the back that we gotta get to. Come on. I got 286. Ooh. Yes, this is it. This is it. Be kind of cool if you could have like D-Day invasions. <laughs> oh my god, we have- okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten out of ten ants have arrived in the promised land. Oh, and there's the queen? There's the queen? No freaking way. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Dope. So, if you guys do want to see more Empires of the Undergrowth, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. Fire ants are coming, boys. And with them, a whole slew of new game mechanics. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.